In this video, I'm going to show you how to stop the gun tight slots or the gun tight offset tight end or really any 2x2 two two compression with one critical adjustment, especially for the tight offset tight end. Now, if you are new to the YouTube channel, um, I actually just released a full Big Nickel Over G defensive guide on my Patreon membership page. If you want to get all of my Madden eBooks, I've got over 27 offensive and defensive guides this year and you can get access to all of them by becoming a patreon member it's only ten dollars to sign up and again ten dollars literally unlocks everything over there you'll get all of our offensive guides all of our defensive guides all of our weekly meta updates where we just kind of take you through um, what you need to know to get better at the game some little things each week uh, weekend and week out so if you want to check that out, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. And again, $10, it only takes $10 to sign up and get everything. But I want to walk you through a defense that I have been labbing um, for literally all season, it seems like. And this is probably the best defense that I have found for gun tight offset tight end. Um, and so this formation is, I mean, just gives me absolute headaches. Um, the game just, I mean, it just basically, it's a broken formation in my opinion. Um, the the rules of match coverage they don't really apply they kind of apply the zone drops are in eh, um, because they're in a compression set especially when you pair this with escape artists can be very problematic and so I wanted to give you a defense today that I think is fairly effective and uh, I've got a couple different match coverages here um, in my audibles out of big nickel and real quick out of big nickel I really recommend doing this it really does help a lot when you're talking about defending a formation like tight, tight offset or tight slots. Make sure your auto flip is off, auto alignment is set to base, and then option defense is on conservative. Now we're gonna be using cover four quarters for this. This is a match coverage, so you wanna make sure that you don't have any zone drop set, um, at least for the way that we're gonna be running this in particular defense. Now the biggest problem with uh, compression, I'm gonna show you right now. So. When, if I just come out and snap this ball, this is cover four quarters, you're gonna see that it's one of the most broken coverages um, or one of the most broken, in my opinion, route, routes in the game. Most people that run this formation will put a slotomatic right here, um, typically because they want a route running ability on him. And what you'll see is against match coverage, this thing will just cook. Nine, nine times out of 10, this thing's gonna just kill this, this, um, this zone. And it's because the match coverage, for whatever reason, just he, he basically dumbs out. Like, I, I don't know what else. It, it's very similar, and I'll, I'll give you another example here. But you see, I mean, he's just dumbing out. We're going to show you how to handle that in just a second. It's very similar to another route in the game, like Gun Bunch Verticals. You'll see here the same basic guys on the route. And the same basic thing's gonna happen. The safety's gonna look like he's gonna cover it. He's gonna have all the rules in the world to cover it, and he won't cover it. And that's kind of the, the biggest issue. The second biggest issue is this Y out HB swing. You'll see again this corner route will just out leverage us to the corner and make it so dang hard to stop it. It's very hard to stop that route. And combined with that they have you know so then you're gonna say well I'm just gonna go to cover three because I'm I can't run match coverage well now we're gonna run Y out HB swing the bomb play and we can bomb you know every coverage in the game to that post route you saw he was breaking open right about as I was throwing it so that's kind of the big issue and then of course you have the wheel route meta where you know we don't even have the tight slots in this formation or playbook but you know, they're gonna throw wheel routes. Like they'll either throw wheel routes to that guy or if they're in tight slots, they'll throw wheel routes to both of these guys. So how do we stop it? Well, I'm actually gonna teach you a real simple way to stop it. And the best way to teach this is you wanna kind of approach this as if you were defending bunch. And the reason why is because the running back side of the formation, which this example is going to be to the right side, will defend it like it's bunch. You're going to get a box check out of your match coverage. It's going to be able to handle any corner routes, really anything. It's going to be able to handle a lot of really good concepts to that side. So essentially to the right side, we're getting a box check. So we want to defend it very similarly to the way we defend bunch. The problem is on this side, this guy is not a running back anymore <laughs> he's a wide receiver and the reason this is problematic is let's say let's say that i was in bunch and i put my running back on a corner route um 
and then I put Mike Evans because I know they're in solo check on a out route or whatever, something quick to the flat. You'll see here that this corner route just out leverages me to the sideline. It's very similar to the way tight slots or tight offset is, is kind of having it. So you see here, if I motion this guy out to the right, or I don't know if I can, but you see here, he's, he's basically the tight end in bunch. He's the point receiver in a bunch, and he's the outside receiver in a bunch. And then over here, this guy is actually the running back, which is, again, silly. And then this guy is your solo receiver in a bunch. And that's literally the way the rules are going to work, okay? So the problem is, and it doesn't matter what you do, this outside quarter on the left is man-to-man -man on Mike Evans. And this is one of the most dumb things, because if this guy runs a drag, there's no way he should defend him, but he's going to. You'll see right here. See, so watch him follow. See how he, see how he looks like he's gonna go, and then he follows him. And he'll always do that. So he's basically a man coverage on that drag. So we can't rely on him to to defend that. Now on the flip side, he's actually really good. So let's say Mike Evans runs a corner, and they run something like this. You'll see that that outside quarter is actually really good for that route in particular. Um, and really any vertical route for that matter. He's really good for that. He's also really good at defending. Um, he's really, really good at defending like a crosser. So let me show blitz here. But let's say, you know, let's say that they're going to cross or square. Um, you'll see he, he will play the crosser very well. So the side opposite the running back, you don't really have to worry about that outside receiver, he's going to be man up, basically. So what you want to do is you want to show blitz, and then really simple, like you're going to show blitz, you're going to pinch your line, crash out. You're going to take this guy right here. This guy's your key defender. You're going to man him up on the slot. Now he's actually going to not take a false step and actually play him. And then now what you can do is drop a bluff blitz to the running back side for the running back wheel. And then you can, if you wanted to, put a curl flat zone on the, on the right side there. And then if you want to leave this quarter flat, you can. It'll help a little bit with the deep vertical, or you can put him in a curl flat. So you do something like this. To me, this is the best tight defense. Now you'll see that this route to Godwin, um, of course, my guy got burned on the first time. But typically, if you shade outside, he won't. Um, if you sh And the reason why you want to shade outside is it'll keep him from taking that false step inside. So we're going to shade him outside here. And a lot of times, he'll stay outside. There you go. So you see there, he looks like he gets burned, but it's an easy, like, again, I'm trying to do it with two controllers. You can click onto that guy, and if you've got a little bit better of a guy, like Razul Douglas, like 85 speed, um, or 87 speed. So if you got a little bit better of a, of a player there, more, um, you know, like a Jair or whatever, you're going to be able to hang with this route. Now, if you really wanted to, I'm going to show you one alternate thing you can do that's a little safer. But this is my favorite adjustment, because... A lot of times that route running ability won't actually light up. I will say it's lighting up a lot in this video, but a lot of times I've just experienced it to where this route running ability is not going to light up. It's just been my experience. Um, if you wanted to shade over top, sometimes that can help as well. So you see here, see how he's, see how he's on top of the route and takes it away. Okay. So that's more. You know, and again, that's, you know, man him up, shade over top. You could shade over, over top and inside or shade outside and over, whatever you want to do. But mess around with that. But that's the best adjustment that I have for that. That And the second one that I want to share with you is this. We're just going to swap, swap, if you will, the assignments. So instead of manning up this guy on triangle, he's actually in a really good position to press the square receiver. So we're going to man him up on square. But we know that this guy's man locked, so we can't leave him in the zone. So you can do a couple different things. We could put him in a zone, or we could man him up, and now look where he's at on the field. He's got outside leverage on that player. What's cool about Big Nickel is it's the ultimate disguise coverage. Um, here he does okay, not not great, um, but you see you see what I'm getting at. So if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Just man this guy up and put him in an outside third. And you'll see here that, you know, even if they're going to run off streak or something, like, you're going to be fine. You see the match coverage hanging. And if you've got a, you know, any any good acrobat or anything, that, that'll make that pretty much caged. Now, one thing that's really important, let's say they motion the running back over here. You want to make sure that you 
like undo that so if he's made up on triangle and they motion running back undo that and then now you've got to do that over here right so now i've got to say okay king you're going to be in man coverage on the tight end and that's an easy you know easy little quick uh quick micro adjustment to help uh with this because you'll see now if the running back's on that side that corner route's not going to be open so that's the best tight defense that i found at least so far in man 22 or at least one of them especially for tight offset tight end it's very effective because it's going to stop y out it's going to stop pa seams it's going to stop underneath concepts it's going to stop a one trap there's an easy shoot for that we break all that down in the ebook but if you want to learn more about how to lock down every offense in the game while also being able to send what i would argue is the best pressure defense in the game it can send three-man looping pressures five-man a gap pressure uh dt nanos everything is in the ebook so if you want to check that out that'll be linked in the description below best defense i've done all year and uh, it's just the culmination of defense in man 22 it's got everything in it that you need to be successful thank you for watching the video and if you want to learn my entire big nickel over g defense i'm going to put a link in the description by unlock by joining my patreon you'll be able to unlock everything um, all of our ebooks all of our updates all that stuff so if you want to sign up for that head on down to the description of the video and click the link that i put down below